What's going on guys, World War Chills back again with another video for you guys. Now this is your match review straight after the game. Chelsea have drawn 1-1 against Aston Villa unfortunately. Very very frustrating but we'll be getting into that very very shortly. If you guys can, you enjoy the content, smash the like button. The more likes the more helps of the channel. Subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily. And make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the game as well. I did tell many people that I'll be doing a live stream after today's game but... Yeah, there's a lot of things going on right now. So I'll be streaming after the Man City game 100%, but today it's just a normal video. Look, very, very frustrating. Uh, went up 1-0, fantastic goal. Good link up play between, you know, Giroud, Pulisic, Mount, Chilwell. All these guys for the goal was fantastic. Okay, but in general, the performance, very, very boring. I don't understand what it is. I'm not Lampard in, I'm not Lampard out. I'm Lampard middle. Now, some of you guys will probably be laughing at that, but... I'm not going to be like Lampard, I'm saying give him until end of the season, assess where we are, if we get top four, fantastic, if we win Champions League, who knows, anything Champions League can happen, he, he can come six and win Champions League, then what, you never know, so we have to give him until end of the season, obviously unlikely we'll win the Champions League at this rate, but I'm just saying worst case scenario if something was to happen. Um, and at the same time, I don't really understand his tactics, okay, I don't understand if it's just cross and hope, I don't understand if it's... You know, quick football, because it doesn't look like quick football, it looks like sideways and backwards passing as always. But in the first half, I saw a few promising signs. Now, when I'm talking about promising, I'm talking about Callum hudson Doy. For me, he has to start every single game. If Hakim Ziyech is out, he must start every single game. Him and Pulisic are very key on the wing. Not seeing Timo Werner in the starting lineup, especially in the wing, was fantastic. If he was to play, he had to play striker, but Giroud started the game, and we saw why he started the game, because he scored that goal, which is a very, very good goal. Now, Pulisic for me, okay, he tried very, very hard, but that very, very hard in this scenario, in this situation, when Frank Lampard and Chelsea need the wins, he has to be putting away their chances. I have to be realistic, okay? If he was another player, we'll be slating it. Now, I'm not slating him, I'm just saying that for his standards, he should be putting those chances away. Okay, I'm talking about the one that hit the side netting should be on target. The one, you know, right in front of the goal is a bit difficult, but I don't know how you hit it that high, man. Like, just touch it, just tap it. I guarantee if it's opposition doing it to us, it'll be a goal. You know what I mean? It just happens against Chelsea. It doesn't happen for Chelsea. That's the most frustrating thing. When things are going wrong and the luck's against you, things just don't go your way. Same with Ben Chilwell, the last second, when he smacked that left foot, yeah, might have a bit of Gareth Bale when he hit it for Tottenham them days. I thought it was going to go in, man. I thought it was going to hit the post and go in. I I'm serious. I thought it was going to just go in. I thought, you know what? I'll be celebrating a 2-1 win on this review straight away after the game. And just say how it is. But very, very in like inches, like this, this close away. I don't know if he touched the outside of the post or whatever, but it was that close from going in. Like, it just hasn't gone our way. You know what I mean? Like, Kai Havertz came on. I felt he had a few decent touches when, when going offensive. Defensively, when controlling the ball, he was very, very shaky. He looked very, very nervous, in my opinion. But there were some decent touches going forward where he set up the play and stuff. But Kai hudson Doy for me, was probably our best player tonight. When I saw the pings across the, ball, uh, across the pitch and stuff like that, it was very, very good to see. Politic, for me, was very good as well, especially in the first half. And it was good that none of these guys came off. It was very, very key that none of them came off. Now, what I saw from the first goal is what I saw earlier in the like last few months. The left back, the right back running down the flanks, which allows a left wing to come in a deep, like second striker type of role, if you know what I mean, and control it there. And then obviously the striker can play his part in the box. And the difference between all the crosses that we've been seeing the last couple of months is Ben Chilwell actually crossed it in the box. And that's the difference. We hit it in the box or just on the borderline of the box and we hit it in straight away. Giroud said, pass it to me on the plate right there and he hit it in. Okay, that's the difference between all the other crosses that we've been seeing for the last frustrating month or two. But this one, this is what we have to see. We have to see our right backs, our left backs run into the box and hitting them in. Now, of course, Reese James did not play today, which is quite right because he's coming back from injury and rushing him. Ben Chilwell seems he's back already, fully fit, and there's no chance of Emerson and Marks along with playing left back. So it's good to see at least Ben Chilwell playing, and he did assist for that one as well. But offensively, there was nothing on the right. Kalen Hudson though tried to do it all himself. 
it just wasn't happening for him. We needed someone like Reese James to be attacking that flank, especially at home. It is two points dropped, 100%. It is two points dropped. But in this scenario, when things are not going away and making losses, some people see it as a positive, maybe. I get what you mean. But at the same time, we're not keeping clean sheets. We're not defending well. You know, we could talk about Villa's goal. Like, Mendy getting nutmeg, there's nothing he can do with the position. He had it all covered. It just went through his legs. It happens in football, isn't it? Mendy has been a bit shaky in the last few games as well. Uh, he made very, very good saves against Arsenal. But some of the goals that he's conceded are questionable. Of course, no way Kepo should be coming back in goal. Nothing like that. But when I was talking about world-class form, it's come back to good goalkeeper right now for me, for Mendy. And it's not reactionary. I have to be real for you guys. Like, Chelsea fans were excited that we were unbeaten 17 games. I was excited. But I was very, very cautious about what we're seeing. We're not seeing comfortable wins. We're not seeing satisfying wins. We won 3-0 the other day. And I thought, okay, it was 1-0. But it wasn't really, you know... Satisfying and Tammy Abraham saw the brace and then it covered all the cracks basically for that game. Today we've seen 1 0, we couldn't put away our chances, we didn't have any clear cut chances in the second half. They could have won it, okay? They hit the bar, they were smacking the everything. Christensen went down. Now I look at it, I looked at the replay four times, okay? Definitely we have to stop the play, but the way he was down for that long, that's the question for me. Should he have been down that long? I don't know. Obviously, I'm not a football player or anything, but that's for you guys to answer. Personally, I just don't think he should have been down that long. Of course, we, you know, we should have been defending. Kante should have been tracking back 100%. I don't know if Azpi was able to, but I think Azpi was taking Christensen's spot because obviously Christensen was down, still injured, out of play. So Kante should have ran back and tried to help. But at the same time, defending was absolutely atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. And VAR, I don't know what's going on with you because target, handball... You know, as I said, luck is against us right now. Chelsea fans are going through a difficult time. I've seen YouTubers, Twitter accounts, Instagram accounts, people on Snapchat just go at each other. Lampard in, Lampard out. I said Lampard middle, man. Like, I want Lampard to do really, really well, but I'm not seeing the basics being done. Okay, and that's a fact. And I feel like we have to understand that we need to take out the mentality of him. Of course, he's one of our greatest players of all time for Chelsea Football Club. But we can't use an excuse to keep him at the club at the same time. But as I said, we have to review everything at the end of the season. How well has Frank Lampard done? Has he won a trophy? Has he finished top four? How well has he done in the Champions League? Can he go win it? Let's see. Like, we have to give it at least until end of the season before we assess anything about Tuchel and all this other managers that you guys are talking about right now. So for me, yes, two points dropped. We've got Man City next. Man City's game against Everton was postponed. They had a few cases in in the camp, of course. I don't think Chelsea's game against Man City will be cancelled. If it was, it is a lifeline for Frank Lampard to try regain the fitness, the rest, and try and get back into the players of how to win a game again. Because I don't know what's happened. Last couple of months we're winning games. He wasn't too, too comfortable. I was happy. It was progress. And I thought, okay, maybe we're starting to understand something. Or maybe Frank Lampard has focused too much on defending. Maybe he just focused on too much defending. He was getting clean sheets and we forgot to score some goals. So against Seville, so against United. People saying we've not been a top 10 team. You know, I've got fans on my case from other clubs. I've got Arsenal fans talking smack to me, okay? Because they still won. They're still talking nonsense. They asked me, Lampard in, Lampard out. What's going on? Because Arteta in, Arteta out, right? Arteta at the wheel, right? Come on, man. Like It's very, very frustrating as a Chelsea fan right now. I'm going back to work tomorrow as well. Three days before the year end, of course, before we close off 2020 and hit 2021. So I really wanted a win. 5.30 kickoff, finish before 8. And it just hasn't gone our way, really. So very, very frustrating times. Where do we go on from here? I don't know what else to say, really, in terms of is it one step forward? I don't think it's one step forward. I don't think it's one step back. I feel like the players are okay, but they should have done better at the same time. I feel like Color House Android has given them fresh air to attack. But we really need someone like Hakim Ziyech coming back to the team 100%. Man. Pulisic for me has to stay fit. We need to rest him when we can. Um, Tammy didn't feature, of course. Georgina started. I'm not sure why. Um, I was hoping Billy Gormo started that game. I just wanted a fresh life in the team, you know. I just wanted to kind of answer the Billy Gormo. I wanted Tomori in defence. I saw really good defence. You know, I didn't really understand the lineup from Frank Lampard. But at the end of the day, we've drawn 1-1. We have to take what it is. 
and we have to move on. But if we play Man City like that, we're going to get destroyed. We're going to get absolutely destroyed with that team or that type of performance 100%. So we have to be very, very careful of how we play in the next game. Man. But guys, enough of me rambling, talking nonsense. Some of you guys probably agree with me. Some of you guys probably disagree with me. Make sure you comment down below why and what would you have done differently. But yeah, Timo Werner coming on as a striker. I was so happy he had one chance. He he kind of like miss hit it kind of over the bar and it just wasn't happening for Chelsea tonight, man. That's just what it is. I got my brother, a Tottenham fan, talking nonsense to me on Snapchat and I'm just airing him, you know. I got United fan laughing at me when we drop points and I just air him as well. So things aren't looking good for Chelsea. Hopefully we can bounce back. Forget about the title. Focus on top four. Try to close the gap for third place, of course. And we move on from there. That's all I can say to you guys. If you guys can, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. Hit the notification. Tune in daily. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions. As I said, I apologise for not doing a stream. But, you know, there's many things going on, man. All well, just guys. I'm out. Peace.